I first started playing golf when I was seven. Um, my dad got me into it. And then just started junior competitions at Third Golf Club. And then from there, started getting lessons. Uh, first lesson from Pete was when I was like 10 or 11. So I've been going to see him since then. Um, and then just played competitions under 18 around Ireland. I think my first big one was uh, Ulster Girls in Malone. It was under 18. Um, then I started playing kind of international golf. So then you hit another level. It's like realization. Oh, there's, there's, there's great players in Europe and around the world. So it um, makes you hungry. Um, I went to Mexico to play the World Under Team Championships. Um, and we got go uh, bronze. So that was amazing. And I went to college in America, and that's where I am right now. I've done two years at my UCLA. Got two more to do, and then yeah, just it's been a great journey so far. That's pretty cool to be selected for UBNI. This first cup coming. Uh, it's been postponed for a year, so everybody's excited. I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. Listen, our, our work ethic, you know, it's great, especially in golf, sometimes you don't get what you put into it, but um, I work really hard to get uh, where she is now, and she's a, a model student and a role model for any girls that want to take up golf. Well, when she's not sleeping in, yeah. <laughs> she's normally here from half seven, hits the gym early, and then plays nine holes. Uh, gets a lesson because she loves something to work on or to get a feeling of it and uh, works the rest of the afternoon in the range and then we'll maybe catch up during the middle of the day and then she'll go and do some gym work again in, in the evening like so and that's pretty much it yeah four much. or five days a week you know it's her job and like I say she's the ultimate professional she knows now like she's an experienced campaigner she's going to enjoy it you know, she gets there, she's worked hard, you're, you're, you're out of that um, small pool of Ireland and then, you know, your first year is always your hardest playing different courses and playing against seasoned players and different grasses, learning to read different greens, so, but that'll be the same when she goes the next level up again, you know, so. Um, I think. Having fun with it first of all, isn't yeah. it, Black? And then after, you know, if they really do get the bug, get a good pro and try and stick with the process the whole way through, you know, someone that they trust and enjoy working with, like, bring some buns and sweets and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many good role models out there now with Annabelle, Olivia, um, Leona, Steffi Meadows, Paula Grant. There's so many good ones in Belfast and yeah. a, a, across Ireland there, you know, so. There's no better time for girls to be picking up golf, you know, you can play games, you know, you can you can learn to play the home way. Driving ranges aren't boring anymore, you know. Um, golf courses have moved on a bit with, with front tee boxes to get kids a chance to learn how to get pars and birdies and yeah, absolutely. Like coming somewhere <coughs> like Colin Glenn to get a start and, and like I said, playing the top tracer and you know, making it fun. Pretty much the whole journey Pete's been with me. Uh, so pretty much everything. Like you know, Pete's so great that he he really gets into it. Like he wants him to do it so well um, and believes in me sometimes more than I do myself. And like that that brings me on like like so much um, from the very start. I remember like eleven. Once, at least once a week, and it made all the difference for sure. And even the way it's the way things like at that age, like the panic lessons we always got in your groove not a panic lesson, but before we went to the event, yeah, we always had to have a quick should have been five yeah. minutes before you, whether you were going to wherever you were going down south, you know, to get an event. You know, we were always there just before, yeah. You're always on the other end of the phone. The hard bit, like we were saying, is maybe the Zoom lessons then from America yeah. and stuff like that, and we're really going to try and. 
get that in properly yeah. once a week then, you know. Mm-hmm. So really good habits. She's had great habits from the age of 11, like, mm-hmm. you know, and she just falls back on them. Yes, everybody needs somebody to tell them if they need to believe in themselves. <laughs> just the lead up really um, I've heard I mean it's not gonna have the same environment like crowds and there'll still be a lot of people out and it'll be um, tents and like stuff like that obviously it'll be similar to a professional tournament so just the whole lead up I'm really gonna soak it all in and enjoy it.